The day we're taking a look at these college basketball matches, which are happening on Saturday, February 25, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos and make sure to watch it till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Also check out our Patreon if you want access our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link in description and comment section below. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link in the description and comments section below. Kansas State vs. Oklahoma State. With the injuries to Anderson and Thompson on Oklahoma State's side, along with Kansas State winning back-to-back -back huge games against ranked opponents, I am giving the edge to Kansas State. Oklahoma State cannot match up against Kansas State's high-power defense, and the turnover battle is clearly in favor of the Wildcats. While the Cowboys have the better points against per game average on defense, Kansas State holds teams to a lower percentage of successful shots beyond the arc. I believe that will play a significant factor in Kansas State's plan to earn the victory. The Wildcats are 13-3 in their last 16 games, ATS versus a team with a winning record, and the Cowboys are 1-4 at TS versus a team with a winning record in their last five. Take Kansas State money line. Kansas State won their most recent matchup that took place this year by a score of 65-57, totaling 122 points. I don't expect them to score a combined 20 points more than what they accomplished in the previous game. Even if Kansas State hit its average of 75 points against a tough defense in Oklahoma State, the Cowboys would need to reach at least 68 points. OK State has gone under 68 points in two of their last four games. Kansas State has also scored no higher than 65 points in three of their last four games. Oklahoma State will be playing at home this time, and while I expect this to be a closer game, I have faith that the Oklahoma defense will step up and not allow the Wildcats to score more than 73 points. The Wildcats have hit the under in five of their last six overall, and the Cowboys have hit the under in eight of their previous 11 games played on Saturday. Take the under 143 points. Arkansas vs. Alabama. Alabama will be faced with too many distractions to lay eight and a half points here. There is a chance that Alabama pulls Miller from the game, in which case the 8.5 points would be a steal. Even if he plays, Arkansas is a very talented team that just got their star freshman back in the rotation. Smith Jr. and Black are both excellent freshmen who bring a lot of talent to the court, and Ricky Council IV is a reliable scorer. Arkansas did not have Smith Jr. in their last matchup with Alabama, so that will change their matchups and defensive strategy. Alabama struggled to beat South Carolina and will struggle here against a much better team. Take the points on the road with Arkansas plus 8.5 points. This game will easily go over this total. Alabama is an extremely talented offensive team and they also play very fast. Their tempo is ranked third out of 363 teams, based on the average amount of possessions. Miller helps to speed up the game because he plays the power forward position, but truly plays like a guard and can fly up and down the court. Arkansas does not try to slow it down either, they are ranked 77th in temp and have hit the over in four of their last five games. Arkansas just got Smith Jr. back and this helps their overall scoring potential. This will be a back and forth game with teams trading buckets until the very end. Take the over 152 points. Baylor Bears vs Texas Longhorns. Texas defeated Baylor in the first meeting between the 276-71 and covered the number as 4-point home chalk. Texas continues to play very well on defense, allowing an average of 68.4 points per game and 42.6% shooting while on offense. The Longhorns are scoring an average of 79.4 points per game and have the 34th best field goal shooting percentage at 47.6%. Baylor has lost each of its two both straight up and against the spread. Our team pick is Texas Longhorns plus 3.5 points. Marcus Carr is leading Texas in scoring and assists, with averages of 17.0 points and 4.1 assists per game, while Timmy Allen is the leading rebounder, with an average of 5.4 rebounds per game. 
Sir Jabari Rice is the second leading scorer with an average of 12.1 points per game and one of three players for Texas, averaging double figures in scoring. Texas scores an average of 79.4 points per game. Baylor looks to snap a two-game losing streak with a victory at home on Saturday when hosting Texas. Baylor is 28 overall and 9-6 in Big 12 action, following its 75-65 loss to the Kansas State Wildcats on Tuesday. The leading scorer for Baylor was Keon George with 23 points. The Bears were held to 40.0% shooting and committed 13 turnovers to only 7 by Kansas State. Keon George is leading Baylor in scoring with an average of 16.9 points per game, while Adam Flagler is the second leading scorer and the leader in assists, with averages of 15.6 points and 4.9 assists per game. Jalen Bridges is the leading rebounder, with an average of 5.8 rebounds per game. Baylor is scoring an average of 78.0 points per game, while shooting 44.9% overall and 36.6% from three-point territory. Our total pick is under 148.5 points. Utah versus Florida Atlantic. When diving into Ken Palm's adjusted efficiency margin, there is a huge gap here between these programs, as Florida Atlantic is 37th in the country with a plus 15.93 rating, while UDIP is currently 186th in college basketball with a minus 1.05 rating thus far. These teams have been on two completely different levels when looking at the assist to turnover ratio, as UDIP is all the way down at 354th in the sport with a 0.715 ratio, while FAO is 55th in the nation with a 1.264 ratio. The injury report only has one player on it, and it's not even an injury keeping them out, as the minors will be without Mario McKinney Jr. due to a suspension, so FAO has a clear talent advantage here as well. All in all, take the Florida Atlantic Owls to cover in their own building. Both offenses have been on fire lately, as the Miners are scoring 75.5 points in their last four games, while the Owls are currently averaging 84.6 points in their previous five games. In the last three games specifically, both programs are sprinting up and down the court, as UDIP is averaging 74.1 possessions per game, while Florida Atlantic is averaging 76.3 possessions per game in that span. Go with the over as it seems to be the best option here. Louisville vs Georgia Tech. The Yellow Jackets have won six games straight against the spread and three straight on their home court. The Cardinals have won four straight and six of their last seven against the spread. Louisville is winless on the road this season, but they have won against the spread in each of their last two road games. The Cardinals already beat Georgia Tech earlier this season at home. Look for the Cardinals to play the Yellow Jackets tough on Saturday. Take the Cardinals plus five points. The Cardinals have gone over the point total in five of their previous six games. Their opponents have scored 73 points or more in five of the last six. The Yellow Jackets have gone over in two straight, and they have scored 70 or more points in four of their last five games. Georgia Tech and Louisville currently rank 208th and 233rd in pace of play, respectively. Most signs point to a higher scoring affair between these two teams. Look for this game to over 138.5 points. Toledo Rockets vs Buffalo Bulls. Toledo defeated Buffalo in the first meeting between the two earlier this season 86-77 and covered the number as 5-point road chalk. That trend continues on Saturday when the Rockets defeat Buffalo at home and extend their winning streak to 13 straight. Toledo has covered the number in four of its last six, and the Rockets are scoring an average of 84.7 points per game while shooting 48.7%. Final score prediction, Toledo Rockets minus 11.5 points, Curtis Jones is leading Buffalo in scoring, with an average of 15.3 points per game, while Laquil Hardnett is the leading rebounder, with an average of 7.3 rebounds per game, Armoni Foster is the leader in assists, with an average of 4.0 assists per game. Buffalo has four players averaging double figures in scoring, and as a team is scoring an average of 77.9 points per game. Toledo looks for its 13th consecutive victory on Saturday when hosting Buffalo. The Rockets are 22-6 overall and a MAC leading 13-2, following an 84-63 victory over Akron on Tuesday. Cedric Milner Jr. was the leading scorer for Toledo with 20 points and also grabbed 7 rebounds. Toledo has not lost since falling to Kent State 75-63 on January 10. 
Rage Dennis is leading Toledo in scoring and assists, with averages of 19.0 points and 5.7 assists per game, while Cedric Milner Jr. is the leading rebounder, with an average of 5.9 rebounds per game. JT Shumate is the second leading scorer with an average of 17.2 points per game. Toledo is scoring an average of 84.7 points per game, while shooting 48.7% overall and 38.8% from three-point territory. Our total pick is over 165.5 points. Central Michigan Chippewas vs. Northern Illinois Huskies. David Coit is the leading scorer for Northern Illinois, with an average of 15.9 points per game, while Anthony Crump is the leading rebounder with an average of 5.2 rebounds per game, and Caleb Thornton is the leader in assists, with an average of 4.9 assists per game. Northern Illinois is scoring an average of 71.5 points per game, while shooting 45.7% overall and 34.1% from three-point territory. Central Michigan looks to snap a two-game losing streak with a victory at home on Saturday when hosting Northern Illinois. The Chippewas are 10-18 overall and 5-10 in MAC play following a 63-35 loss to Buffalo. Central Michigan shot just 29.8% overall and 0.0% from three-point territory. Central Michigan missed each of its 13 attempts from three-point territory. Chippewas have lost five of the last seven. Brian Taylor is the leading scorer and rebounder for Central Michigan, with averages of 14.7 points and 6.3 rebounds per game, while Reggie Bass is the leader in assists, with an average of 3.3 assists per game. Central Michigan has four players averaging double figures in scoring, and as a team is scoring an average of 65.3 points per game, while shooting 41.8% overall and 29.4% from three-point territory. Our team pick is Northern Illinois Huskies win. Northern Illinois will pick up a victory on the road Saturday and sweep its two-game season series with Central Michigan, but the play here is under. The under has cashed in three of Northern Illinois' last four and in five of Central Michigan's last seven. In the first meeting between the two, a total of 127 points were scored, which cashed under on the closing line of 135.5 points. Central Michigan is scoring an average of only 65.3 points per game. Our total pick is under 136.5 points. Hofstra Pride vs Northeastern Huskies. Hofstra is playing exceptionally well, at 10-0 straight up and 9-1 against the spread over its last 10, which includes a 73-52 victory over Northeastern, while covering the number 8-point road chalk. Northeastern has failed to cover the number in 5 of the last 7. Hofstra is scoring an average of 73.8 points per game, while holding opponents to an average of 66.1 points per game. Hofstra's defense is allowing a field goal shooting percentage of just 40.5%. Final score prediction, Hofstra Pride wins. Jamal Telford is leading Northeastern in scoring with an average of 16.5 points per game, while Chris Doherty is the second leading scorer, leading rebounder and leader in assists, with averages of 8.8 .8 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 2.3 assists per game. Northeastern has only one player averaging double figures in scoring and as a team is scoring an average of 65.5 points per game. Hofstra looks for its 11th consecutive victory on Saturday when hosting Northeastern. The Pride are 22-8 overall, and a Ka Co leading 15-2 following their 68-65 victory over Stony Brook. The leading scorer for Hofstra was Tyler Thomas with 23 points. The Pride shot poorly hitting only 38.9% of their attempts, but held Stony Brook to 41.4% shooting. Aaron Estrada is leading Hofstra in scoring and rebounding with averages of 20.5 points and 5.5 rebounds per game, while Jacqueline Carlos is the leader in assists, with an average of 4.8 assists per game. Hofstra has three players averaging double figures in scoring, and as a team is scoring an average of 73.8 points per game, while shooting 47.8% overall and 36.1% from three-point territory. 